Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's going on, guys? Uh, so this channel, Tough Teens, I'm going to be kind of sharing some stories about uh, my experiences at Spring Creek Lodge in Thompson Falls, Montana. Uh, Spring Creek Lodge is, you know, one of these teen wilderness camps, behavior modification schools, boot camps, uh, you know, various names used for these types of facilities, but that's basically what it is. Um, I'm guessing some of you guys watching this video maybe spent time there. Uh, otherwise, maybe you're just kind of looking into or researching the, you know, tough teen industry or whatever you want to talk about. Uh, I had actually wanted to start off this channel by uh, kind of telling my story about how I got kidnapped in the middle of the night out of my bed and taken out to uh, Montana in the middle of the night. But uh, my first video was like 30 something minutes and I didn't realize that new channels have, uh, I want to say like a 10 minute limit on videos. So uh, we're going to have to kind of start this off with some shorter stories just to uh, just to kind of get past that limit. So what you're looking at right now is a room called The Hobbit. Uh, the Hobbit was at Spring Creek Lodge in Thompson Falls, Montana on Blue Slide Road. Uh, it's since been shut down. I think uh, there was some, you know, uh, allegations or proven abuse there. Um, I know one girl wound up committing suicide in the bathroom. I think another girl fell or jumped off of a cliff and died. Uh, so the place was eventually shut down. I'm guessing... Uh, or th this place was run by a company called WASP, the Worldwide Association of Specialty Programs. Uh, I don't know if they're still around today. I'm guessing they are still around in some form, uh, although I'm guessing they change names and have shell companies and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but this was a room called The Hobbit. Now, uh, kind of how the whole, like, discipline system worked there, um, you know, there was, like, a point system. You could get a Cat 1 through a Cat 5 uh, could be something as simple as like not putting your head down and, and taking a look at, at girls when girls were around, uh, forgetting your water bottle, forgetting your pencil, swearing, you know, all these different types of things get you points. Uh, once you got so many points, you would go to a room called worksheets. Now, worksheets was basically kind of like a timeout. It was, uh, depending on who was running it, it could be different. Sometimes uh, you were forced to lay down on your face with your chin on the ground and you would just literally lay there all day. You might, throughout the course of the entire day, get two or three bathroom and water breaks. Um, but the rest of the day, you were just laying on your face. That's when some people were running it. Uh, when other people were running it, you would listen to, like, Zig Ziglar motivational tapes. Um, and then some of the time, you would actually be uh, doing, I think, doing worksheets. I don't remember what kind of worksheets, uh, but doing some type of, like, repetitive paperwork. Like, you know, kind of think, like, writing a thousand times over and over, like, I will not do X, Y, Z. Um, but if you were too bad for worksheets, uh, you didn't behave in worksheets, or you did something really, really bad, uh, you'd be sent to this area called The Hobbit. So uh, here's how The Hobbit worked. You would be stripped of all your clothes, and you'd be given a red sweatsuit that was, like, never washed uh, that said Hobbit on it. Uh, it was literally written in permanent marker on the pants and the sweatshirt, uh, Hobbit. And this is The Hobbit, right? It's a, it's a small room. Uh, it's been so long, I don't remember the exact measurements, but I mean, you guys can see here. It's a, it's a tiny room. Uh, there's two bunk beds. Unless everything was all filled up, uh, they would put you in uh, by yourself. But on occasion, if, if all the hobbits were filled up, uh, you might wind up um, getting put in here with somebody else. Uh, this box, I believe, was to lock your shoes up and like notebooks and things like that. Uh, you were not given anything in The Hobbit. I think maybe early on they might have given you a pen and pencil, but I think eventually they even took that away as well. So there was just like literally nothing to do in here but stare at the wall. Uh, you can see here we got, you know, grates or, or bars on the window essentially. Um, and in The Hobbit you only got two meals per day uh, and your meals were the same thing. Uh, when, you know, myself or other people worked the kitchen, we would make meals for The Hobbit. And it was basically like a cold, stale uh, tortilla um, turned into a burrito, but really like it would kind of like crack when you rolled it. So it wasn't really much of a, a burrito. Um, and you would get cold rice and beans, um, in this burrito. So basically what it wound up being, it looked much less like a burrito and much more like a mashup in a bag of a stale tortilla and cold rice and beans. I think maybe for breakfast, you might've been given a banana as well. Uh, but that's basically what your meals were. And I think you got breakfast and dinner, uh, when you were in the Hobbit. Um, besides that, you know, you got, might have gotten taken out a couple times to use the restroom. When you used the restroom, you didn't get to go use an inside restroom. There was a porta potty outside by the Hobbit, uh, and I want to say it was kind of by the cafeteria. 
Um, but that was what you would use for the restroom. You didn't go inside to go to the restroom. You know, there were uh, staff, guards, whatever you want to call them, uh, who were kind of cool and would let you come out. If I remember correctly, I don't know if it was a trailer or what it was, but basically uh, this is one of the hobbits. There were probably three or four hobbits side by side. And then outside of these rooms, there was kind of like a long hallway, almost think like kind of like a dog kennel type thing uh, where you might have three, four or five dog kennels in a line. And then there's kind of like a hallway where you can almost like the Humane Society, right, where you can like walk uh, down like a little hallway um, to access these Hobbit rooms. And uh, occasionally you might get a cool staff member who might let you out and might let you come sit in the hallway with them and kind of shoot the shit. Uh, there were people who worked the Hobbit who would you know, bring vodka in for you, let you smoke a cigarette, sneak you a cigarette, um, you know, maybe give you some of a snack that they had or a soda or something like that. Uh, overwhelmingly, most of them were kind of jerks. A lot of the times you'd wind up getting in physical altercations and fights with them. Um, the ones who were jerks, you know, you'd, they'd try to make your life miserable and you'd try to make their life miserable. Uh, you'd throw food at them, you'd call them names, you'd scream. Um, and, uh, they would try to make your life as miserable as possible as well, but there were some, some cool, some cool, uh, guards or staff there who, uh, might give you some food or, or just be nice to you and talk to you. Uh, but this was The Hobbit. I don't really have too much more to say about this. Um, like I said, you know, I have some longer videos and I wanted to tell some stories, but, um, I think I have to get so many videos uploaded or, or something like that before I'm able to upload a longer form video. So, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, if you guys spent time in the Hobbit or if you were in another, you know, behavior modification school, wilderness program, something like that, let me know what their punishment was, what their punishment room was. I know there's some discussions on, uh, Reddit of some different, you know, teen quote unquote self-help facilities and things like that. And I saw a post the other day, like, did your place have a white room? So it seems like this is a pretty common thing at uh, Spring Creek Lodge, a WASP program in Thompson Falls, Montana. It was called The Hobbit. But i uh, love to hear your guys' stories. Drop, uh, drop a comment down below. Uh, if you spend any time in Spring Creek Lodge or if you were in this very Hobbit, uh, you know, feel free to drop a comment. Tell us about it. That's all I got for you guys. I'll catch you in the next video.